This is One on One. We have to talk, Dad. Well, that's what we're doing, isn't it? I mean, seriously. This is the third one. I said you've... I don't need her. I don't need her or anyone. I can manage very well on my own. She wasn't easy to find, you know. It's not that easy. I thought she was really good. Lots of good qualities. She... And now she doesn't want to work here anymore. You are not listening to what I am telling you. That's good stuff. That's from um, The Father. And we are pleased to be joined by Catherine Irby, who is a uh, Tony Award-nominated actress starring in The Father with... And the other guy? Uh, Frank. Frank, Frank Langella. Yes. Who, is terrific, who plays terrible. Andre. You are his daughter. Yes. Set this up for us. It's a powerful situation. It is a powerful situation. Um, so Andre has just um, berated his third caretaker. My husband and I, well, my boyfriend and I have just had to cancel our vacation because of this. Why does he have a caretaker? Um, he, although he doesn't think so, is suffering from dementia. <sighs> set where? It's set in Paris. Give me the translation story. So it's written by a French playwright named Florian Zeller, and um, Christopher Hampton translated it into English for the production in London. And um, then when we started, we spent about a week with Christopher, making it more American sounding, less British sounding. Now, it won an award in France, the Moliere Award? Yes. What does that mean? Because that's a big deal. It is a big deal. He is a big deal, this guy, um, Florian. He, he, his voice, people are hungry for, clearly. Everywhere this play has been done and his subsequent plays are all huge hits. People mm. are, are, they're really responding to them. So the translation. When you translate it into English, mm -hmm. how difficult, A, and B, the challenge of connecting with audiences who speak English? Well, um, for us, we wanted it to still be set on foreign soil so that it was, there was some distance between the American audiences and the characters in the play. Um, so we wanted to maintain that, but we didn't want uh, things to sound odd and clunkily British. So words like buggered, <laughs> or uh, not buggered, burgled, excuse me. But what is burgled that? means robbed. Okay. Uh, uh, so we changed burgled to robbed. Okay. And um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. But the translation but, had to be done in a way that people could understand. Yes, yeah, so that people could understand it, but so it maintained the essence of what Florian created. And I, I have never read the French version. My French is not nearly good enough. Um, but I think um, that Christopher did a beautiful job. Let me ask you, this for you, this is your return to Broadway after a few years, 21 years. Yes. What was the last? The last play I did was A Month in the Country with Helen Mirren, F. Marie Abraham, Ron Rifkin. Um, actually, my, I was pregnant with my daughter at the time. And on opening night for The Father, she was my guest. And she's 20 and a half now. Wow. So it feels like a significant. It's a big deal. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, uh, Law and Order, Criminal Intent, uh, Detective Andrea Ames. Alexandra Ames. Oh, excuse me, yeah. Alexandra Ames. But also, I first saw you on Oz. Shirley. Uh, that's not you. No. Oh, my God. Shirley was crazy? Yeah, she was. And, and, and dangerous. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking to myself, you had these two very successful uh, television experiences. Mm -hmm. The return to Broadway, what's it like? I love doing theater. I, I, every time I do it, I wonder what's wrong with me <laughs> because it feels like an addiction. It is so scary 
and hard. And I think that's part of why I love it so much. Um, but just that shared experience with this play in particular, because mm. of the way Florian has written it, um, it's a collective experience between the audience and the actors of dementia. We're all in it together. No one really understands what's going on. And that immediate emotional connection with a live audience is unlike anything um, it's unlike anything else and uh, feels primal. You know, we've done it for as long as anyone can remember. And so many of us, so many people watching us right now um, are dealing with this issue of dementia with people in our lives and trying to make sense of it. And you are dealing with that in this play. Mm -hmm. um, tell everyone where it is. It's at the Samuel Friedman on 47th Street at Manhattan Theater Club. You know, I'm curious about you. When I first saw you in Oz, and I was just drawn to your character, and go back, by the way, go right back and check Oz out. One of the great things about uh, On Demand is you can find it in HBO, right? Mm -hmm. There it is. Never gets old. When did you know? I ask a lot of extraordinary uh, actors this question. When did you know that you wanted to do this, and this would be your professional life? I have acted in plays since kindergarten. Since kindergarten? Maybe first grade in Miss Salmon's class, yes. How I do you even remember the, the teacher? I, I, I don't know. I, there are some things I can remember and some things I can't. Um, Miss Salmon's first grade class, I played the little red hen. And um, <laughs> I, there, I just loved, I loved the instant gratification of the applause. I loved the family community feeling of a group of people trying to do this thing together. Um, I'm actually a very shy person, so um, it's not easy. I would, I, I have to work against wanting to keep my back to the audience and embrace letting myself be seen, which is so odd, but I know I'm not the only one. Um, so very early on, I knew I wanted to do it, and I've been lucky that I've been able to do nah, it. It's lucky and an awful lot of talent. Uh, you mind Thanks. if I plug again? No, not at all. Catherine Irby and uh, the great Frank Langella um, at the Samuel Friedman Theater on West 47th Street, uh, right down the street from where we are, 66 and Broadway. Uh, it's called The Father. And uh, the Manhattan... Manhattan Theater Club. Manhattan Theater Club. We wish you nothing but the best. Uh, the, the world of public broadcasting wishes you and your colleagues the best. And uh, thank you for not being shy with us. <laughs> thank you so much. You got it. Stay with us. We'll be right back from uh, the WNET studio here in the heart of Lincoln Center. Thank you very much. My pleasure. That was great. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Hackensack University Health Network, Hackensack University Medical Center Foundation, Investors Bank, Felician University, New Jersey Resources, the North Ward Center, and by Cone Resnick. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.